coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Ravens ready to receive it, and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half. And no return go, here for buddy. Evans Let's as go. they will bring this out to the 25. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Tannehill and the Titans come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll start with a give to Henry. And some room to maneuver. He's at the 50. 20, 10, touchdown Titans! Derrick Henry, 75 yards, and the Titans have taken the lead. Well, Derrick Henry, the league's leading rusher in 2019. You wouldn't think a man that big could motor like that, but he can all right, and he proved it right there. And that's why he's one of the best running backs in the game today, because this run combined all the elements. Started with patience, and he was just waiting for the right lane to materialize. Then once he saw it, he used his speed and escapability in tandem and turned this into a tremendous play. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on Next Gen Stats. McCann's got it teed up. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. Duvernay going to sit on this in the end zone, so it'll come out to the 25. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense get back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 14 yards that time for number 14. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Steps away to his left. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Oh, Lamar Jackson just so electric, Charles, when he gets into open space, and we saw exhibit A right there. You know something? I'm standing up here in the booth next to you watching the play. He buckled my ankles on that one as well. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether you're actually on the field trying to chase him or you're just watching him play. This guy is sheer excitement. So after the big play, look at this, all the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick shuffle pass here is complete. That catch good for only a couple. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Forced out to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. Well, this defense, so many things to worry about in the red zone area, but you'd have to almost think that Lamar Jackson running the football, that might be number one. It should be number one. And in this portion of the field where things shrink a little bit because the receivers can't run past anyone because they'll run out of real estate, you should have all eyes on Lamar Jackson when the ball is snapped and try and keep it back in the pocket. Yeah, I don't think that they were surprised he was running it there. They just couldn't stop him, and he ends up in the end zone. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. 
And the Titans getting set to go. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play. Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game, the play action pass could very well be open. Henry again on second down. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. To throw is Tannehill. Looking deep for Julio. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he did not reel it in. Here's Brent Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And it's a unit last drive that did it all on the ground, Charles. And they controlled it from the interior, big on big, right? Offensive lineman versus defensive lineman. But you know, in order to keep the football moving downfield, other people have to get involved as well. Your wide receivers, your tight ends, lead runners, anything that you have possible to get in front and keep the ball moving. Now the defense may be looking out for a pass coming up. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson could really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead, this is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. They go play action now. Jackson. Well, that's complete to the fullback, Ricard. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Not much there, only a yard. Here's second and nine. Jackson now escaping the pressure right and he can't quite get there tackled down at the one nothing open downfield he keeps it himself for 11 and a first down well another fine run right there for Lamar Jackson and CD that one puts him over 100 yards now for the ball game and remember when all we talked about were 100 yard games from running backs mm -hmm. that when a quarterback did it touchdown Gus Edwards, he scored on the ground and into the air. And the Ravens are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. See, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Tucker with the extra point. And that pushes the lead up to 11. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's capped off by the Baltimore score. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play. And this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 